Okay, welcome everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create a simple login application in Android Studio. So the first thing we want to do is create our project. So you open up your Android Studio and click Empty Activity and then Next. Then choose the name for your application. I will call it Login Application. And you can choose any name and save it anywhere you want. Then you choose your minimum SDK. I'd recommend this one, but you can choose whichever one you want and Android will calculate how many devices you will reach. So I usually take this one and then click finish and Android Studio will take a few minutes to start your project. Okay, now that you are in your Android Studio, you will be presented with this screen and the next thing you want to do is add your image. So you can just drag and drop it from desktop to drawable and you can see this is the image we'll be using. You can download it, I'll put the link if you want to follow along, but you can use any image. And the next thing we want to do is edit our layout. So you can delete this hello world and we will add our own stuff. So the first thing we want to do is an image view. So just drag and drop the image view and choose your newly created image. And uh, we want to resize it. So we'll put, let's first change the ID. We'll put the image. Uh, next thing is width. We want to match, match parent. For the height, I'll use 120 dp and we want to constrain it. We're using a constrained layout. We want to constrain it to the top and the bottom. Okay, nice. We have our own image and let's change the background color of our constraint layout. So you click your constraint layout here and just go to background and drag and drop this little editor in the top so you get the white color. And now after we add that, we want to add, we want to add our input fields. So you can go to text and choose the email one for the email and password numeric for the password. You can choose any input fields you want, but I'll use this one for this tutorial and I'll constrain it to the image and I'll constrain this one to this and drag drag it something like we want it something like this we want them near and we'll constrain them to the side so just click these buttons and change this to zero because we will set uh, width to match parent so layout width match parent so it's nice and full and then you can switch to 16 so it's not the full screen and ma oops match parent and 16 16 okay nice now we have this and we want to add some text up here so we want to add some text and ch change it to log in text we want to constrain it to top and the side switch this to zero and okay center it to center and we want to change the text to log in and now let's edit it let's find the text Okay, so in here we want to change the text color to uh, not that one. We want to change the text color to hollow red light and this to 20 SP. So something like this, you can add it any way you want, but I like this one. And now we want to add hints. Uh, so this thing says email, this thing says password. So you click on it and you go to, we need to find hint. Uh, just a second. 
Okay, so in here you type email. No, not this email. And in here you type password. Okay, this is looking really nice. And the next thing we want to do is add our text view uh, somewhere around here. And this will say, this will be the attempts, attempts button, attempts text that will display the text. So again, we want to constrain it just like this and set this to zero, set this to zero and that is okay. And we want to delete the text. So we don't want the text because we will only display this text after a user uh, writes wrong information and uh, we want to uh, we want to press enter so we delete the text and that's it we now have to add the button so after doing that just add the button in the center and constrain it to bot and side We'll change the layout width to match parent and press enter. We want to delete uh, this so it's up there in the bottom and we want to change the text so it says submit or send or whatever you want and now we want to change the text so we'll use a uh, text color we'll use white so just pick white and for the background which is up here we want to use um and we go to color so up here and we want to use hollow red light so everything matches and now that is looking really nice uh, the next thing you want to do is test it so you see you check your design but that doesn't really matter now it's just easy to move this uh, move these elements around the next thing we want to be doing is adding a second activity because after we success a login we want to change the screen so you go to your package and you right click on it new and all the way down activity and choose empty activity and then once it loads up you just change the name to something like second activity it it doesn't matter but you can name it whatever you like and once it loads up we should uh, see two files so the java one and the xml one so let's edit the second one and the first thing we want to do is our image. So we just drag and drop the image and choose this one and drag it to the center. And we want to constrain it to our sides. Put the width to match parent. And we will leave this like this. And we want to put text view that says welcome so drag and drop again constrain it to top bottom left and right like that we want to change the text to welcome and style it a bit so we go here and we change the color to this one and size to 20 SP. Okay, now that we have our second uh, activity that we can switch to, we can now add the code in our first activity to actually switch to the second activity. Okay, now's the time to write the code. I switched to my main activity, and this is where we'll write most of our code. So what do we want to do we want to connect those xml layouts to our java code the way we do that is by declaring field variables and then connecting them by find view by id so the next thing we'll do is type this Uh, 
this way we connect our XML layout to our Java code. And we want to do the same thing for button. We want to put our counter to five. We have our text view now for our attempts. And we'll have a boolean that says is blocked and that would be false. And we just need to import that class. So Alt Enter and it should import. So from these two, we will get the user email and user password. On this button, we will set an on click listener that notes us when the button is pressed. This is the counter and this is the text for our attempts. And this Boolean checks if the user is blocked. So now we want to go to on create and we want to connect them. So the way we do that is by declaring a user email to be equal to find view by ID and then you go r dot ID dot and whatever uh, ID we put you can check the ID in here. So you go to activity main and our email has uh, ID of edit text and we want to change that to email so it's easier. Yes, we want to update. And for the password, we want to put password and just press yes. You can use every ID you want, but this is more of a better practice. So we go to our main activity and now we put r.id.email and we do the same thing for the password. So r.id.password and now we have connected our XML layout to our Java code. We want to do the same thing for the button. It's just a button and we want to do attempts. Find view why I added attempts. Okay, now that we have connected um, our XML layouts to our Java code, we can actually do some methods on these uh, field, field variables. So the next thing we want to do is set our button listener. The way you do that is you by type you type the name of the button and then dot set on click listener and then inside here you write new on click listener and just hit enter and this should appear and inside these parentheses you can write your code which will execute when you when an user pushes the button so what do we want to do when the button is pushed we want to check the user info so we do it like this if user email and you need to get text dot equals and let's put info at java coding community dot com so if user email get text equals you need to put equals because we are comparing uh, string values and not references and we also want to convert it to a string so after get text you type dot to string because get text doesn't return a string object we need to use our string object in java and we want to do the same to password so they both have to be equal and we take user password get text to string because it doesn't get text doesn't return a string object and then equals to let's say one two three will be our password we close this and what happens if we do that we want to check if the user is not blocked and if he's not blocked we want to make a toast that says success so the first variable is the context uh, that is from what class you are calling this toast then goes the text so we'll write success and then the length we'll put toast.length long 
and then you need to do show because it won't show unless you do that and we want to switch the activity for that we will use our method that we will create it will be called switch activity with no parameters and you will get an error that you need to create method switch activity in the main activity and in here we want to switch our activity the way to do that is by writing an intent you can call it anything you want and it should equal to a new intent and then again you need to provide context from which you're calling this intent and we're calling it from our main activity dot this and then you want to reference the other class you want to switch to and that is our second activity dot class so and we need to import the intent okay so you need to first parameter you need to say okay we're calling this from our main activity and then the second parameter okay we are switching to our second activity and then you call this method start activity it's a pre-built method and you just pass it the intent you created so something like this and this should work now that we when we run the app this should work but let's cover the other cases so what happens if if we don't succeed so if we don't succeed we should check if the counter is greater or equal to and then decrease it by one if the user misses information so if he writes something wrong we'll have so for five for four for three for two so the user has uh, five attempts and then we'll just create the same toast but change the input that says invalid input and we want to set the text of our attempts to you have space plus attempts plus attempts left so the user knows how much attempts he has but what happens if he runs out of counter we want to say is blocked is true so we block the user and we don't allow him to log on and then attempts set text you been blocked and that's essentially it from our code as you can see it's not it's not that hard and now we want to test our app so you need to have an emulator to do that and then you just press this button run but it takes few minutes for the app to first load so let's just press run and wait a bit okay and here's our app it looks really good and let's test it so when we write something i don't know like this and we press submit we should see our attempts but if we write the correct email the one we wrote there and the password is one two three and click submit we should be seeing success and change the screen and the welcome message okay everything looks great and i encourage you to play around with it and improve it if you can and i'll see you guys in the next video bye